everyone. Here is a question from comparing quantities of class 7. The question is convert each of the following into decimal form and they have given three different questions. The first one is 25.2 percentage. So 25.2 percentage. So whenever percentage is given we have to convert into a fractional form. You can convert this into fractional form. Now percent means out of 100. Percent. Cent means 100. So this is equal to remove the percentage symbol and divide that by 100. That's it. So we have removed. We have converted this into fraction form. Now we have to convert this into decimal form. Now what we can do here instead of cancelling the numbers or instead of dividing the numbers I'm going to move a decimal point from the this side to the left side. Now what does mean? You can see that there is a hundred in the denominator and there are two zeros. So it depends upon how many zeros you have in the denominator. It only applicable if you have a multiple of 10. It is not possible if you have a 20 or 30 like that. You can do it like 20 or 30 you should write it as 2 into 10 like that. So instead of doing all just leave that complicated part. Whenever you have a 10 or 100 or 1000 something like that in the denominator, instead of cancelling, you can convert directly into a decimal form by placing the decimal. How to do it? Here we have already a decimal point. So we're going to move this decimal from the right side to the left side. And how many decimal places? Since there are two zeros in the denominator, we have to move two decimal places towards the left side. So this will be equal to 0 0.0. 0.252. So decimal was here, right? 1 and then 2. After that, I'm going to put decimal here. Okay. Now, since here it will be like 0.252, there's a no number after decimal on the left side. So I'm going to put 0. That's it. So this is simple a trick, uh, simple trick to do this instead of dividing or cancelling it. The second question same thing I'm going to do for second one also 0 0.15 percentage so remember the per remember remove the percentage symbol and divide by 100 so whenever you're solving a percentage remove the percentage sign and divide by 100 same thing again instead of cancelling or dividing I'm going to put the decimal already we have a decimal point here so we have to move towards the left side now you will be asking ma'am there's no number how to move it it's very simple see we have a 5 and then we have 1 we had decimal point here right so we have to move two places that is 1 and 2 so there's a no number here means we're gonna put 0 and then point okay I hope it is clear since we don't have any digit or a number so we're gonna put 0 there so it will be like 5 1 0 0 and then point and then 0 I hope it is clear. Now since there is no number here, right? Let me explain you once again. See, we don't have a number here. 5 and 1 and then we have decimal and then 0. What you can do is, you can put zeros. How many zeros you want to put, you can put. It will not going to change the number value. So, and then you are gonna you just write the number. after. So, 1 and then 2 decimal point we want to come here. Okay, let me just rewrite this. So this will be equal to 0 0.0015. Okay, now the last question. It's a 25 percentage. For this question, we don't have any decimal. So this will be equal to 25 divided by 100. Now we're going to remove the, uh, we're going to just write down direct decimal here. From the right side after two digits because we have a two zeros in the denominator. So this will be here 2 and 5 after 2 digit right so 5 and after 2 we're gonna go put decimal point here decimal and then here 0 so we have converted all the numbers into decimal form I hope this question is clear in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching